whether you're doing foundation or higher, you want to be getting three out of three on this one. Let's have a look. The question says the diagram shows a prism placed on a horizontal floor. We're told that the height of the prism is three meters and the volume is 18. We're asked to, we're told, sorry, that the pressure on the floor due to the prism is 75 newtons per meter squared. And we're asked to work out the force exerted by the prism on the floor. What are we going to do? As soon as we see pressure in a question, we're going to be thinking of using our pressure equals force divided by area formula. We can draw out the triangle. Oh, let's have a look. It's going to look like this. So we're going to have our triangle. We're going to have pressure in the bottom left hand corner, force in the top and area on the right hand side. Now, let's have a look. In this question, we've been told the volume of the prism and also the height. We want to um, work out the force exerted. We've got the pressure, but we haven't actually got the area of that base face. So that's the first thing that we're going to have to work out. Now, how do we work out the area of the base face? Well, we know that the volume of the prism is 18. So in order to work out the area, we can use the fact that the volume of a prism is equal to the area of the end face times by the height. What does that mean? It means that to go from the volume of the prism to the area on the end, we can actually divide by that height. So in this case, to work out the area of the end face, we can do our 18, which is our volume, divided by our height of 3. 18 divided by 3 is going to give us 6, telling us that our end face is going to have an area of 6. Working from there, how are we going to work out our force? Well, we know from our triangle that to work out force, which is on the top, we can multiply our pressure and our area, which are on the bottom of that triangle. So we're going to do our um, pressure of 75 times by our area of 6. Don't know why I wrote the A in there. So times by 6. 75 times by 3 is going to be 225. So 75 times by 6 is going to be 450. I did that one very quickly, guys. Take your time with that multiplication. We do the pressure times by the area to get that force.